Hallowed be your name. Ebakata. Hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba Father, Abba Kataya. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallelujah. 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 We cry, Abba Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallelujah. 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 Shede berakatai. Hallelujah. 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 Ikoba la de la bavarata sekete beramana gamais. Kevre de vere go shuda baralima la hadagadas. Zoko porogo dogo bodo. What a mighty God we serve. The God of all flesh, the Father of all spirits, the one that is able to do exceeding abundantly, far above all we can ask or think. The one who created the earth with just the spoken word. In six days created he everything. We bless you, Jesus. We honor you, Lord. There is none like you. There is none as great as you are. Shadabaradabas. Oh, 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 oh. E kalamayada bayada bayanana. How great you are. Oh, 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 Salakran de Beke, ay, na, 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 how great you are. Oh, 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 oh. How great you are. Emo Satayama. Shania Marana Namalade. Oko Tabaya Namalade. Sobrani Namaga. How great, how great, how great you are. Asamai Kalimaya Nagosiana. How great, how great you are. Oh, 
How great, how great you are. Alamanda mama isaika badanana. Sheke bro. Obokosa. Koborogo borodosia man. Blessed be your name. And we thank you for what you are about to do. Thank you for that man, that woman, that life you are about to touch. Thank you for divine interventions by your spirit. Thank you for divine interventions by your spirit. Thank you for divine interventions. In the name of Jesus. I want to decree and declare over your life this morning. That in the name of Jesus. In this season. In this new month. May you experience divine intervention. May you experience divine intervention. In your business. In your career. In your marriage. That marriage that is about to fall apart, that is about to break, experience divine intervention in the name of Jesus. That deadline that you are almost falling short of. May God come true for you. May God come true. May the God of the 11th hour, may the God of the last minute come true for you. In the name of Jesus, may God intervene sovereignly. May God overturn things around in your favor. May God change times and seasons to suit you in this season of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy to you, September is the ninth month. I decree and declare, let there be a delivery of divine deliverables. Let me say it again. Let there be a delivery of divine deliverables over your life. In the name of Jesus, when a woman gets to 36 weeks, which is nine months, she's ready to give birth. I decree and declare that there will be a delivery of divine deliverables into your life and your destiny will birth everything that God has designed for you in this season. Everything that God has designed to manifest in your life. I decree and declare by the unction of the spirit on your destiny, begin to give birth and give expression to that which God has designed to manifest through you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I welcome you once again to Warfare Prayers for Enlargement. Please do well to like this video and share with as many as you can. Just keep sharing. Just keep sharing till the end of the prayers. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. So more and more people can be part of this broadcast right now. Today is going to be an amazing time in the presence of God. Call your friends. Call your loved ones. Call your family members. Send a message to your neighbors. Everybody around you, your colleagues, gather them around wherever they are. Let them get tuned in and hooked up to this stream. In the name of of Jesus Christ. You know sometimes there's something about prayer. Sometimes you can pray for elongated periods. For for prolonged periods. And then it looks like God does not hear you or it looks like you are not seeing the answers to your prayers. At those at those moments it's easy to become discouraged. The reason why many Christians don't pray for some, it's either because they have prayed over certain issues in their life and they seem not to find answers. It looked like God had abandoned them or God had forsaken them. And so the Bible declares that hope deferred makes the heart sick. When somebody keeps praying about a thing and they don't see results, it has a way of weakening their faith. It has a way of killing their hope. But I want to encourage you this morning. You see, prayer is like an investment. Prayer is like a season. The Bible says, while the earth remains, seed time and harvest will not cease. There are seasons when you exert all the energy you have in prayer and it looks like nothing will happen. It's just like the story of Elijah. The Bible says for seven times he kept praying and there was nothing in the sky to show for his intercession. But at the seventh time, the Bible says a cloud like the hand of a man was formed in the sky. Uh, but if Elijah had given up at the first time, the second time, the third time, even at the sixth time, if he had given up, that cloud wouldn't have appeared. So I'd like to encourage somebody who may be feeling discouraged or downcast. 
Perhaps you are feeling tired already. There's no need to just keep praying, keep sowing, and it looks like nothing is happening. You are just in a season of seed time. Perhaps maybe after this season of warfare prayers, you will enter into the harvest of your prayers. You will enter into the delivery of your prayers. So I'll encourage you, never be discouraged, never back down, never quit. Keep exerting your faith in prayers. Keep pressing, keep pushing, keep advancing in prayers. A season for your manifestation is coming your way in the name of jesus the bible says in ecclesiastes 11 verse 3 that if the clouds be filled with rain they will empty themselves surely they will empty themselves on the earth they will empty themselves on the earth i decree and declare I'm speaking to that young man. I'm speaking to that girl, that lady, that woman who may have prayed and sowed and fasted and given and you seem not to see the result in the name of Jesus. May my God show up for you this season. May God do a miracle for you that will bring consolation. May God do something mighty in your life that will consolidate your prayer efforts. In the name of Jesus. May your prayers and your givings rise to God as a memorial in this season. And may God give you the patience to wait till your answers are released. Never give up. Never be discouraged. Remain tenacious. Remain focused. The Bible says in Luke 18 verse 6, that if the Son of Man comes on the earth, shall he find faith? Shall he find faith? The faith there is the consistency in prayer. May God grant you the grace to be consistent, to remain focused, to remain energized. Every day is a new day for you to experience the goodness of God. And I declare that today God will show up for you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. We are going to pray today. God told me to declare three days of divine release beginning from today. Three days of divine release. Today, tomorrow, and the next. Three days of divine release by warfare. Every force that is holding anything that belongs to you, they must release it in these three days. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every power from hell. Every, every manipulation of hell that has withheld, that has delayed, that has diverted that which belongs to you. As we pray and engage war by the power of the Holy Ghost, they must release it into your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. So officially I declare from today beginning, three days of divine release, of divine release, of divine release. And whatever is yours this season must come to you in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray aggressive and brutal, my God. We are brutal prayers. The devil must submit. The enemies must submit. The Bible declares in Psalm 66 verse 3. It says, Say unto God, how terrible are thy works. Through the greatness of your power shall your enemies submit themselves. Everything that is yours, that has been held in the witchcraft coven, that has been diverted by satanic forces they must release it they must release it your rent your school fees your next level your promotion your your access in the spirit everything that is yours your next phase of enlargement must be released in these three days in the name of jesus christ brothers and sisters i like to encourage you by telling you this and this is not just a cliche this is not just a, 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 a rhyme like many preachers do. No, there is truth in what I'm about to say. That in warfare is your welfare. Let me say it again. In warfare is your welfare. In warfare is your welfare. In warfare is your welfare. In warfare you possess your possession. You have to dispossess someone. To take possession of what belongs to them. There is no possession without dispossession. There is no welfare without warfare. There is no delivery without deliverance. There are forces you must contend with to lay hold of that which God has given to you. 
as far as god is concerned he has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in christ jesus the bible says he has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness according to his divine power as far as god is concerned everything that you need to enjoy life on earth and to support the fulfillment of your destiny has been released right from when you were born but because we have the prince of the power of the air because there is someone a fellow called satan who is a specialist in diversion in delay in seizing what does not belong to him as a matter of fact jesus called him the thief the bible says in john 10 10 that the thief cometh not to steal kill and destroy the thief cometh not but to steal kill and destroy he said but i've come that you may have life and have it in abundance that's the reason why we must contend to possess that which god has given to us this season and i tell you the truth everything that is yours everything to the last penny to the last pin must be released into your hands in the name of jesus christ deuteronomy chapter 2 we are going to pray now deuteronomy chapter 2 shalaba kabera da bazoy zeveleketi mais hey amama yama ya da 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 ala kate 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 la da 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 rete kete 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 belokotosh rata kalabaradas barush katala karata galada rada galada des Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 24. It says, Rise, take your journey and cross over the river Anon. Look, I have given into your hands Sihon, the Amorite, king of Heshbon and his land. Begin to possess it and engage him in battle. He says, I have given you the land, but begin to possess it by contending with the occupants. You must contend with those that have been in it everyone that has been in charge of your allocation you must contend with them only in contending with them can you possess that which is your possession he said i've given you but you must possess it i've given you but you must contend for it i've given you but you must fight for it i tell you the truth when god brings you into the season of your promised land there is some level of spiritual warfare that will guarantee your possessing your possession in that season and that's why we are going to wage war that's why we are going to pray every force every force every power from hell that has held up what belongs to you they must release it by fire by force they must release it by fire by force the provision that god has for you in this season god does not want you to live what where you are living now i believe you can live higher than you your living standards can be improved there is provision that god has allocated for this phase of your destiny to support what god wants to do in your life but you must contend for it to be released there are forces manipulating men that god has put your blessing in there are men that god has put your blessing with your favor with there are men that god has assigned with your lifting But there are forces manipulating them. There are forces trying to keep them away from you. There are forces trying to cause a disparity between you and them. Today, you must contend with those forces and command for a release. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare every force, every power that has held up what belongs to me by fire, by force, release it. 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 Open your mouth and begin to contend. Open your mouth and begin to contend. Every spirit, every force, every power that has held up what belongs to you in this season. By fire, by force, let them release it. 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 Ajaka parada kateketa. Ebrata kata. Rata kata. Rekete barakoto sabana. Ebala kata. Leke prekete. Jaka prata. Let them release it. Let them release it. Let them release it. Eko shagada. Rakata. Every wicked power. Every wicked spirit. 
that ayakata laba katusia rekete broska pata that has seized or held up that which belongs to you makete kaba by the fire of the Holy Ghost by the force of grace we command them to release it 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 every spirit of the devourer that has held up that which belongs to you that which is needed in your destiny that has held up your finances held up your promotion held up your acceleration held up your speed held up your advancement that has held up your enlargement in the name of jesus by fire by force release it release it release it release it shash kapa rakata kapa epatwa satapa leke teke farate katua jaka prate keta epra bushka reke tebila makotobaya kebala bela mila husa bande breke teke tilakata reke teke teke te baratarash baradia radash reke te grete kete keli grata kata Erato kashagada roto koto jakara kata koto e broto shkoto ko le koto jakwa bata kata ya e brete keti kabakata le te 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 kapara te 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 e roto to joto to rato joto e rusata e rusata e rusata zeleke paragita e zabarata e zabarata e rata e rata e rata joloko la toi joko e kwaba wa paloko sie e bezekia e rebata jakakata akwata 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 e rusikiti baria bakabriata tabriata 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 Ashata abrata kata reko to kurapa kuraka 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 ja protokete abrata ka le varapa release it release it by fire by force release it release their finances release their health release their advancement release their enlargement release their promotion release their acceleration release their rent release the the, the verdict from the court in their favor release all that you have held up from them Epatoshakata, we put pressure on the forces of darkness Epatusia, in the name of jesus release it 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 akete ke parakata abrata ka shakarakata abrata kata rakata koto la soborokoto 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 e rekomoto e soproto e sobarata lokoto e shoboroto la toa shoko la koshogodo la koshogodo la groshogodo e robokoto e robokoto jakaragada e kuriakata e kuriakota e jabrota e jabrota e prataka e brakata jakata e kapalakata Lekata, release it, release it, release it, release it, release it, release it, release it. E zazo, e baziazo, jagada gada, e pretekete, la jobrate, la kata tatu, le rutu kototo, e ruta kata. Errata, every witchcraft coven where it is held, e amoto kopala, every shrine where it has been tied, that which belongs to you, that which belongs to your destiny, kabata shakata, rakapata, aparata, every force of wickedness that has held back what belongs to you, apata kazea, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I demand that they release it by fire, by force, by fire, by Tonda, abakata kata, rata kata, rekotos, 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 akete te 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 akata, jakatwa, lakwata te kete kata kaparias, e prata kata, a prata kata, ratos, 
Epratas, Epradas, Epradas, Eprasas, Reketos, 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 Epradadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadadad
takwa patakate bankwa talakata gabarus katekete le bahasha it is released into your hands ikelama sukaida makaragaba mayata kateas eyana mayadada mighty on your throne you are mighty on your throne you are mighty on your throne now i decree and declare in the name of jesus by this unction of fire aparush kateka palutias jekreteke bratakata kateka tua aparush keteke balakataka i make a brutal declaration by the power that raised jesus from the dead everything that is yours that has been held back from you amanta kapaka i challenge wicked forces wicked powers wicked spirits by the fire of god i knock on the door of thunder every force that has held what belongs to you i command them to release it by fire release it by thunder release it by fire release it by thunder in the name of jesus christ kaparadeka siata that thing that they have they have locked with a padlock that destiny that they have locked with a padlock that you will not go far you will not go beyond this point and you have been pegged at a spot everything you do it looks like your efforts are sabotage aparata kata kayekete kaparata kata upon mount zion there shall be deliverance I declare today let that padlock be destroyed let today be your day of deliverance let today be your day of deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ Manda kaya maya da ya ya da da Esho brata kala damas I release your marital destiny I release your finances Kama ya da 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 God has provided, but why are you why are you still living in misery? Why are you still living as though there is nothing? Amanda Mashaka Radakata. By the force of favor, hear me. I connect you with your helpers. Every force that has tried to cause disparity between you and your helpers, that has tried to, 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 to create a barrier between you and your helpers. Let those forces be arrested by fire, by thunder. Let them be arrested. And I declare by the favor of God, by the unction of favor, that today, today, God is connecting you with your helpers of destiny. Wherever they are on the surface of the earth, wherever they are, I connect them to you. Let your thoughts become their obsession. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare your release. Let your promotion be released. Let your new job that you have desired be released. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a rise in your career. Let there be advancement in what you do. Experience enlargement in your business. Those that are owing you, let it be paid. Let everything that is owed you be released in full from today. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see somebody who is into business and you have many people owing you. Many, many. Your money is tied up in different places. Beginning from this morning, I command it to be released one after the other. I put pressure on the heart of everyone holding what belongs to you. That they will not rest or sleep until they give to you that which is yours. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is released. It is released. It is released. Thus says the Spirit of the Lord. It is released. It is released. Divine encounters are released into your life spiritually. Let your heavens be open. Let your eyes be open. Experience divine encounter like never before. Your life will never be the same again. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Type it on the comment section. This is my season for a divine release. This is my season for a divine release. This is my season for a divine release. 
in the name of jesus as you type it it becomes your manifestation as you type it it becomes your reality this is my season for a divine release and i tell you the truth no power from hell not even the devil himself can still hold back after these three days no power from hell can hold back that which belongs to you jesus said in luke chapter 11 verse 22 a strong man guards his house and keeps his good at peace until a stronger than him comes and overpowers him and takes his armor that is trusting and then spoils the goods of his house today we come by an apostolic and prophetic mantle of the spirit we arrest that strong man over your family over your business over your territory we arrest them by the unction of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost let the spoils be given to you let the spoils be given to your hands and the house of jacob shall possess their possession it is yours today in jesus name you're sick in your body put your right hand where the sickness is stretch your left hand towards me that devil will leave your body right now by the power of the holy ghost the bible declares in romans 8 verse 11 but if the spirit of him that raised christ from the dead dwells in you he that raised christ from the dead will again quicken your mortal bodies i declare by the power of resurrection i come against every sickness disease affliction infirmity infection in your body by the power of resurrection i command them to leave i command them to be uprooted whatever my father in heaven has not planted in your body be uprooted in the name of jesus and i declare be healed in the name of jesus i declare to you be healed in the name of jesus from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet i flush out every disease from your body every disease from today no more medications i declare your instant healing by the unction of the spirit in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen and amen please do well to send us a testimony let us know what god has done for you let us know how god has touched you both today and any other day on this platform as well as send us your prayer requests i'm going to pray on them right now please do well to send us your prayer requests i'm going to lay my hands on them like i'm laying hands on these ones now from now till we are done with this season of warfare prayers father in the name of jesus i lay hands on this request let angels be dispatched let your mercy be released to your children let there be a delivery of divine deliverables over their lives in the name of jesus christ answer them by fire answer them speedily make a name for yourself in jesus mighty name amen and amen i believe you've been blessed today what an awesome time it is in the presence of god may i remind you of our t-shirts and face caps that are available you want to do well to purchase your own or to also buy for someone so feel free to contact us by the details showing on your screen so you can be given your own t-shirt and face cap at an affordable affordable price nicely and beautifully branded t-shirts and face caps that will help you publicize what god is doing on this platform in your local terrain in your city in your village wherever it is that you are and god bless you as you do so in jesus name tomorrow i'm going we are going to deal with satanic diversions demonic diversions wicked spirits that have diverted what belongs to you covens of witchcraft we are going to release fire on them and obtain that which they have diverted i tell you the next three days like god told me to declare will be three days of divine release everything the blessing you you'll be shocked at what will happen some of you will experience a barrage of breakthroughs you will experience it will be like a rush of water it's like things that have been held up will just be released at once your life will never be the same in the name of jesus christ father thank you for your people as they give their offerings whatever givings they are making some are giving offerings some tithes some are sowing seeds believing you for one thing or the other some are releasing a prophetic seed to this grace some are releasing a sacrifice trusting you for a change in season 
trusting you that you will overturn certain things in their favor whatever the giving is bless them according to the desires of their heart grant them let all grace be caused to abound towards them and let their lives never be the same in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen as you are led and as cheerful as you you are please cast your offerings your givings using the details on the screen below may god bless your generosity i'll see you tomorrow same time we are on three days of divine release the enemies must submit everything that god has promised you must be released into your hands i'll see you tomorrow god bless you bye for now <laughs>